Let us explore 10 gram quadrilaterals. I am Anil Kumar and let's figure out how many quadrilaterals can be formed with the help of this 10 gram. Now, 10 gram is a game which is just there before you. So what I've done here is I've mixed and matched red and black pieces so that you can clearly see seven different pieces joined together to make a big square. So we have two big triangles here and here we have a drawing which represents each piece. So these two triangles, triangle one and two, is numbered here, one, two. Then we have four shapes right in the center which I've numbered as three, four, five and six. So that is three, four, five and six. And then the seventh piece. Each piece is called trans. So there are seven trans in a 10 gram. Now for you, the exercise is to figure out how many quadrilaterals are there. You can pause the video and then write down the numbers. How many quadrilaterals are there? Can you uh, write their numbers? And can you write their names? So write down their numbers and their name. So that is the first exercise for you. Now, you got the answer, right? There are three quadrilaters which you can see here. One, as a whole, it is a big square, right? So if you see this, big square. And then, each piece, there are two pieces with four sides. Piece number three and piece number five. Piece number three here is a parallelogram. It has got two pair of parallel sides, correct? And piece number five is a square, which has four equal sides, right? So these are the quadrilaterals which you can see in this particular tangram. Now, what you have to think about is that how can you combine different trans and make quadrilaterals. So that is an exercise for you, right? So can you combine some of them so that you can make more quadrilaterals? Hmm, think about it. For example, you can put this triangle right there, right? So it'll close like this and you'll form a rectangle. Do you see that? So if I piece this together, that means this triangle right here, then I can make one rectangle. So like this, you can make many rectangles. You can make squares. So use these shapes and write down all the combinations which when placed together can give you quadrilaterals. That will be interesting, right? So figure it out. And let's move on to the next video where we'll learn about similar and congruent shapes. Thank you.